lesson, we're going to talk about the circumference of circles. So to start off, we're going to talk about the parts of a circle. The diameter is a line drawn through the center of the circle from one edge to another. Okay, so it's the whole length, two times the radius. The radius is the line drawn from the center of the circle right here to the edge. It's half the length of the diameter. A sector is a section of the circle formed by two radii. Okay, radii just is the plural for radius and one arc. All right, the arc is the outer edge of the circle that connects two points. Okay, so um, a sector is like a piece of a pie. So here's these two radii, oh, and here's this arc. So this would be uh, the sector right there, that purple, that purple line. The circumference of the circle is the distance around the circle. Okay, um, it is uh, the circumference equals two times pi times the radius. Okay, or diameter times pi. Okay, and if you think about it, we're keeping the pi, right? Two times the radius, right? Double the radius is the diameter. So that's why either one of these work. So for each of the following, uh, we want to name the circle, identify the radii, and then identify the diameter if there are any. Okay, um, when you name a circle, you name it by its center point. Okay, so here we have A here in the center. So we would call this circle A. Let me change my color. Okay, circle A or like that. Oh. Okay, uh, then we want to identify the radii. All right, here um, we have two. Okay, we have BA. That's a B. <laughs> and we have CA. All right, those are our two radii. Um, and then the diameter, we do have a diameter here, and it's uh, CB would be the diameter. Okay. Uh, over here, name this circle. This would be circle T. Okay. The radii then uh, would be RT and CT. And uh, actually, we don't have any diameters in this one, right? The, there is no line that goes all the way across the circle. Okay, so for this one, if AB equals 10 millimeters, what is DC? Okay, so AB is the diameter, all right, and DC is a radius. So if AB is 10, then we know that DC has to equal 5, okay, 5 millimeters. Which of the following points are not part of circle D? All right, A, B, C, D, or E. All right, well, obviously E is not a point, okay? On, it's just this random point out here, okay? Um, and then actually D is not a part of the circle either because it's just the center. We call it circle D and it's the center point, but A, C, and B are the only points that are actually uh, part of the circle, okay? The points that are part of a circle have to be on the circle, okay? If AD equals three inches, what is the exact circumference of circle D? All right, so on this one then, we're going to use our formula, all right? We're given um, AD, which is a radius, okay? So we're gonna use the formula C equals two pi R, okay? Um, now, when it asks for exact, all right, when you see the word exact, what that means is that it wants you to leave pi because pi, um, you know, we designate as 3.14, but it's a lot more numbers after that. And if we multiply it times 3.14, we're not actually going to get an exact answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in what we know. The radius is 3, so we have 2 times r uh, times pi times 3, okay? So now all we're going to do is take 2 times 3, which is 6. And we're going to leave the answer like that. So we're going to leave C as 6 pi. Okay. D says, if the circumference of circle D is 25 feet, what is the approximate radius of circle D? Okay. Approximate means that they want you to use pi equals 3.14 and actually give a number. Okay. So for here, the circumference equals 25. We want to find the radius. So we're going to use 2 pi r. All right, so now what we're going to do, 2 is being multiplied times pi is being multiplied by r. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 2 pi, okay? So first, we're going to take 2, 
and we're going to multiply it times pi. So we're going to take 2 times 3.14, and that's going to give us 6.28. So then we have 25 divided by 6.28 is going to give us our approximate answer, okay? And that's going to be uh, 3.98. Okay, and then it says round to the nearest foot. Okay, 3.98 rounds up to four. So we would say that it's approximately four feet. And then here it says name all the segments that are equal in length. All right, well, we know that all of the radii are equal. Okay, so we're just going to list all of our radii. We have AD, we have BD, and we have CD. Those are all of our radii. We know that all three of those equal each other. So for here, for each of the following question, we want to give the exact answer in terms of pi. That means we're going to leave pi in the answer, and then we're going to give it the approximate answer. So we're going to use 3.14 per pi, and then round to three significant figures. So all they want is three numbers in the answer. Okay, so here it says find the circumference for a circle that has a radius of 4.5 centimeters. So we're going to use uh, C equals 2 pi R. Okay, so C equals 2 times pi times 4.5. Okay, so now all we're going to do is we're going to take 2 times 4.5, and that gives us 9. So 9 pi is going to be our answer. Okay, now from there, um, would, since we already know that the answer is 9 pi, right, to get an approximate answer, all you're going to do is take 9 and multiply it times 3.14. Okay, 9 pi is going to equal 28.26. Now it says round to three significant figures. Okay, so we only want this three. Since this number is a six, right, it's five or more, we're going to round this up to three. So this is actually going to be 2.83 centimeters. This one says a circle has circumference 64 pi. Find the radius and the diameter. Okay, so here we have circumference equals 2 pi r. All right, um, and we know that it has the circumference of 64 pi. So we're going to put the, the 64 pi in here for C equals 2 pi R. All right, we want to solve for R, so that means we're going to divide by 2 pi. Okay, the pi's cancel out, and then we take 64, and we divide that by 2, and that's going to give us 32. All right, so we just solved for R. R equals 32. Okay, well, we know the diameter, right, is 64, okay? Uh, and it doesn't give us any measurement, so we just have R equals 32, D equals 64. And these are my exact answers, right, because we got rid of pi. So actually, my approximate answers are, is going to be the same thing because there are no approximate answers. Since we got rid of pi, um, the approximate and the exact are going to be the same answer. On this one, it says, find the radius and the diameter of a circle if its circumference is 18.5 inches, okay? Um, so on here, um, to find our answer in terms of pi first, all right, so we're going to take C equals 2 pi R, all right? We know that circumference is 18.5, okay, equals 2 pi R, all right? Now on here, we can divide by 2 pi, Okay, divide by 2 pi, and um, we can leave it like that, okay, um, or we can take the 18.5 and divide that by uh, 2, and that's going to give us 9.25 over pi, okay, is going to be our answer right there for the radius, all right? Now, for the diameter, okay, um, for the diameter, what we're going to do is we're just going to multiply this by 2, okay, or, you know, 2 over 1. So we take 9.5 and we multiply it by 2, okay, and that's going to give us 18.5 over pi is going to be the diameter, okay? So the diameter is 18.5 over 2. The radius is 9.25 over pi. Okay, and then to find your approximate answers, now we're just going to take uh, 9.25 for the radius. Okay, 9.25, we're going to divide it by 3.14. Okay, 
Um, and that it actually gives us this big long 2.9458, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, and then it says it wants us to round to three significant figures. Okay. So right here, look, um, if we look at this five right here, okay, since it's a five, that means we round this four up to a five. So it's 2.95 inches is going to be my answer. Okay. For the diameter, then we're going to take 18.5 and we're going to divide it by 3.14. And we're going to get for this one, 5.8917, continue on, so forth. I don't need any of those numbers. Okay. If we look here at this number, right, because we're wanting to, to round it to three figures, one, two, three. So we look at this fourth one. It's a one. Okay. That means we don't actually round up. Okay, so we want to leave this as 5.89 inches is going to be uh, the answer for that. Okay, um, and it's important here, just something to, whenever we're doing approximate answers, it's important to go back to the exact answer and do your approximate answer. So like notice I didn't take the radius, the approximate number that I found and multiply it times two. Okay, because if I take 2.95 and multiply it by 2, it would have given me 5.9 exactly. And that actually would have been, a, you know, not quite as exact. So um, remember, when you take unexact answers and you multiply them by a number, you're going to get even more unexact. So if you can, you always want to try to go back to the exact answer as much as you can before you, um, before you move on. And that is the end of finding circumference of circles.